Hey, what's up? Siri Emerald here. And this will be an unboxing video of the new Hot Toys. Sideshow number 902901. Hot Toys number MMS339. One six scale figure of the Iron Man 2 Mark VI re-release. This is not the die cast that we have coming out in a few months. This is a re-release of the figure that was made several years ago. And this was originally made for the celebration of the opening of the Disney in Shanghai, China. So they re-released this. They re-released the Mark 42 and they re-released the Mark 21 Midas, but the Mark 21 Midas, they chromed it up. The Mark 42 and the Mark 6 were identical re-releases, so there was uh, nothing real new to the figure in that regards, but it did away with a lot of the features, so we'll go into that here in a minute. So here's the outside of the box. It's a new box for this figure. This is not the same box that the uh, Mark 6 came in originally, which looks like this right there. Nice and shiny, chromish kind of looking. So we'll just set this over here. Has the exclusive sticker on it. it means you're not going to be able to get it just any place. Only um, Hot Toys exclusive distributors or third party. And at the bottom it says Movie Masterpiece Series Hot Toys MMS 339. On this side we have the figure that carries on. The box is totally smooth. There's nothing embossed on the box, nothing cut into it. It's just a box. On the back we have some information about it being part of a Hot Toys Limited and some warnings on the figured how to contact Hot Toys here on top says Marvel Iron Man 2 and on the bottom says the same thing shoebox style box front panel looks pretty cool picture of the figure itself in kind of a flight pose and there's the close-up of the bust of the figure and as you can see the figure comes bare bones only accessories are interchangeable hands it does not come with interchangeable helmet it does not come with a Robert Downey Jr. head sculpt and it just comes with a standard seven point base and batteries so it's not as fully loaded as the original is either but it gives you an opportunity to get a hold of a piece that you might not have been able to get otherwise now immediately as soon as I grab him and pull him out of the box I feel looseness in the knees and that was a problem these figures experienced so that was kind of disappointing automatically feel that here's the base that he comes with so this is a new base for this figure but it's the base that we've seen lately so it says Marvel Iron Man 2 Mark 6 um, I can feel the two holes in there so you can put the, um, the larger one in there I'm pretty sure if you wanted to do that like I showed in the from the vision and on the bottom it says Marvel 2016 Hot Toys Limited All Rights Reserved. Iron Man 2 comes with the crotch piece for that. We have a pair of articulated hands. These are, they look to be just like the other ones. Some with two joints and the fingers with three joints. So you can make a fist or you can do the I Love You, Spider Man Thwip, Peace Sign. And it comes with a pair of repulsory palms. And again, looks like they've tightened it down around the ankle, so we're not going to be able to get this off without cutting it off. And I absolutely hate that. I don't know why they insist on doing that. It's pretty stupid. You really risk the, dam uh, the, the possibility of damaging your piece in, in several ways because of this. It's stupid. I don't understand them doing this at all. There's no point in it. Whoever makes that objective decision needs to rethink their position on it. You really end up putting your figures through a lot of stress taking off this protective packaging that they put on here. This protective packaging, in my opinion, does more damage than good. Because as you're taking it off, you're literally pulling on everything. You're, you're yanking it about 
and and it's just ridiculous that you should have to put your figure through such work just to get these pieces of protective plastic off of it it's stupid I really hate it enough already all right so already looking at this the uh, panties I can see that uh, it, it already is a different color than the rest of the figure and it's the rubber so all I can say is we're probably going to have the same problem that we had before. Now, um, one of the other things that I see that they've done is these pieces appear to be glued in. And that seems to be something that they're doing with um, their non-exclusive figures. Or... They're not accessory figures, I guess, because this is an exclusive. They're making them so they you can't put on the pieces that come with them. So the, the chest piece comes off. So we have that. But I am anticipating that... All the other pieces won't go on them because they've probably glued them in. There's a switch in the neck, which means we've got the old style head. Yep, that's the old style head. It lights up right here. So it truthfully is a, a recast of the original piece. And this faceplate is glued on as well. But these knees, that's really loose. That's really loose. So I anticipate knee problems. These are really loose on the originals, let's see. Well, it seems to be pretty tight. Let me, let me get my original over here. Go side by side. difficult to get him to stand up on his own. Uh, the color's different. The original is more reddish blue, and that's reddish orange. And you can see here uh, the famous pink panties. People use the term to refer to this fading that happens to that. And I can see right now that is a different color than the rest of the figure. And the way this happens is because of the material that they're using and the pearl coat that they put under it to give it that shine, it, it eventually just wears off and, and comes through from, from UV light and such. I don't know whether or not specifically we're going to have that problem with this figure, but I am going to say be wary of that. Some of the other things I see are a little different. These are more silver in all the silver areas. They're more silver color, and these are more of a of a gunmetal gray color so it's a little darker and the gold appears to be a little more subdued in the original mark six the golding is a little more subdued in the color and the golding here is definitely a more of a um, goldish gold if you will here you can see see how that wiggles they're very very loose. 
uh, in the old style ones. We have this um, metal grating back there on these for this one. You don't have the grating. It's um, a little differently designed. The two of those are. signs of it right there they put a little more detail in the in the silver grating on the back there in the painting than they did here a lot of little differences you get the red the black Stripe in the elbow with no black stripe in the elbow on the original. Now, let's see if uh, anything opens up here. Okay, these open up. That's good. Get that closed down. And they painted the stripes in there. Let's see if they painted the stripes in this one. They did. So those are the same. It's Iron Man 2 Mark 6, MMS 339, once a scale collectible figure. And of course it shows us where the battery goes for in the neck to light up the eyes, and where the battery goes in the back to light up the chest arc reactor and where it goes in the bicep with the uh, on-off switch turn on the arms and how the chest armor is attachable. Ah, so it does include the missiles in the shoulder. That's nice. It shows how that can be put into position and talks about how the calves can open up as we just seen and how the backs open up and about the articulations of the waist by pulling those up and able to twist. So he does come with the shoulder missiles, which is good. It was a, a scene in the movie when he's fighting Whiplash. These come out. After Rhodey tries his ex-wife, which fizzles onto the ground. So those come out. That's good that they did that. But it doesn't have this piece here. I can feel it moving. This one doesn't move. I can feel this one moving. But I'm willing to bet that it's it's locked locked in there just as these are definitely glued on as and these are definitely glued on here too but what he is is a clean 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 piece if you want to put him in your Hall of Armor. You want to pose them with the other seven, or the other six, to make with your original seven in the Hall of Armor he has in his garage, or his workshop, whatever you want to call it. Um, you definitely have that. And that's where he's going in my display. Because this piece is battle damaged a little bit in this clean mode. As you see, he's got the black on the thighs and little scuffs on him all over. So he's, per se, battle damaged. This helmet 
will fit on that. So if you want to add a Robert Downey Jr. head sculpt, if you can find one of these, it will fit on there because it's the same, it's literally the same thing that comes out. But as far as all the other pieces like the, the biceps, let's see about the biceps. I didn't check those. There's those weak knees. I didn't check on the bicep here. No, it doesn't come off. So you don't have any of the interchangeable pieces. Now, that doesn't mean that it would be impossible for you to interchange them. It's, you know, you could pry it off carefully and to avoid it from being damaged. And then you can put them on and off. Sometimes when you do that, you'll end up breaking things. But, you know, if you really want to to do that, you have that ability to do that. Let's see how this chest piece comes off. Same. The same chest piece. Oh, you know what? Let's see if it's interchangeable. And you know why that's important? As a matter of fact, let me just get the battle damaged one out. Well, before I shove it on there, let's check. Similar. I don't know if it'll fit exactly. This um, post comes almost straight out. And this post is angled up. So we'll see. Not, not really. It, it'll go on there, okay? And it's a pretty good fit. But it was a little more difficult than I think it should have been. Get there. Let's see about this guy. We can get this one in here. Yeah, here we go. We we're able to swap that out. I can see, you know, again, the red orange versus the red blue right there. And the red blue versus the red orange right there. So I don't know if the color is coming through on this. Let me turn off my lights and see if we can get some natural light coming from outside. Not enough. Not enough light. Um, I'm afraid, though, that um, you're not seeing the true color of it. Another neat piece about the Mark VI original one with the missiles here and the little uh, laser beam piece that uh, is up in here. But this would be able to fit on here. I'm almost positive. Hmm. You know, that doesn't, uh, doesn't feel like it comes off. It's on there pretty tight. I'm not going to pull it. It's in there really tight. And they may have affixed it differently so that you couldn't put this arm on there. I will say, attempt that at your own risk. I'm not going to attempt it. So that's my thought on that. Hey Tony, nice party. 
Well, where do you keep the wine? Uh, have you checked the wine cellar? Okay, ask a stupid question. Get a what do we have here? Uh -huh -huh. So this is where the goodies are kept. I wonder if he would mind if I just borrowed one of these for a little bit. What would you do? Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Wait till they get a load of me. So thanks for watching everyone. Leave your comments in the section below. Tell me what you think of this figure. Did you pass on this Mark VI because you already had Mark VI? Or did you pass on it perhaps because we have the diecast one coming out in a few months? Did you buy this because you don't have the original Mark VI and you're getting it for a lot cheaper price than what the diecast version is? Will you be adding this to your collection? Follow me on Facebook at Siri.Emerald, Twitter at Siri.Emerald. Follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. Subscribe to be on Patreon. Your help would help me a lot. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You'll find that right below the video, down there, little thumbs up icon. Just click on that. It helps out a lot. Share this video with your friends. That helps out as well. To be notified whenever I make a new video, you're going to want to subscribe to my channel. I click the subscribe button. Follow that to my page. Click on the subscribe option and then choose a little bell notification icon to actually be notified whenever I make a new video. And to see more videos that I've made, you'll find them on the right here. Thanks again for watching, everyone. See you on the next video. Happy collecting.